the order that you put them mathematically really doesn't matter. And in fact, your book puts them in a different order than Mathematica. Mathematica is some software that we'll use a little bit in this class. So, you know, I, I, my point of saying that is that there's really no standard, okay? So what would, what is helpful though and what is required is that you label somewhere what order you're going to put them in, okay? So I'm not gonna dictate to you who needs, needs to go first, but some, if you are working with spherical coordinates or cylindrical for that matter, label the order that you're putting them so that I know, you know, what angle you're calling theta and what angle you're calling phi, et cetera. Um, I assume that people are gonna put X, Y, Z in order X, Y, Z, okay? <laughs> but for the other two, I don't really care because there's not a standard, but label what you're doing so that I know. All right, um, so starting with this point, the row is the distance of the point from the origin, and I think we did already find that. It was the square root of 200, right? Okay, so that's, I, I'm, for right now, I'm gonna use the same order that they have up there, okay? So I'm gonna put rho, theta, z. And theta is the same theta for cylindrical, and so we already found it. So look back in your notes from Tuesday, and what theta did we find for cylindrical for that point? 53.1, is that? Ryan, I don't have a right in front of me, so. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then, again, I'm only, I'm only double checking just because I kind of remember Tuesday that, you know, sometimes I would write something up that I heard and then it wasn't end up being right, so. Okay, phi, so we're left with phi as the thing that we need to find. But what is, what's the relationship between z and phi? z equals rho cosine phi. So we know z is 10. We know rho is the square root of 200. And we are trying to find phi. So we can solve this equation to get phi. So 10 divided by the square root of 200 is cosine of phi, so inverse cosine of 10 over the square root of 200. 75, is that what 45? Um, oh, you know what, because you, yeah, I, I think you, yeah, Keith, that's good, because the square root of 200 is 10 times the square root of two, right? So the tens cancel out, so you have one over the square root of two. Yes, it is 45 and 10. Okay, so theta, phi, rho. Where do we get the uh, square root of 200? Um, from the other day. Um, we, we, found the length, we found the distance of this point from origin on Tuesday. 